Regards to this Generation 3 uh, Equix system, we've been following it for a while and I've been in the Army long enough to see uh, the maturation of it and how it's developed and, and, and it's, it's become a little more complicated, uh, but there's benefits to that and, and the different levels of the system and the different components, this mix and match, uh, we see it as a good thing. And, and one of the things that we really see good about it is that we acknowledge that every soldier is not the same. I have, I have soldiers from Arizona and Vermont and uh, as far away as uh, Samoa, Guam, and, and I think that, that a lot of senior leaders need to be educated more on this system and the, and the benefits and the advances. Uh, a lot of times I don't think that the systems are used uh, as they were originally designed. So I would really like to see uh, this system continue to be used, uh, provided I want my soldiers to have the best equipment uh, possible in order to go out and, and defend this nation where we need to. Um, but I think a lot of people need to be educated on the system. To dump a bunch of stuff in, in a duffel bag on a young soldier and have his leadership not understand the principles of it and, and how to use the system, then it becomes wasted. And, and one of the key things that I would like the folks uh, in the logistical world and at, at PEO Soldier and, 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 and the, the folks that are developing these things is to educate us senior leaders on, on how to use it and the different factors and for the senior leaders to get past this Everybody has to look the same all the time. Outer garments, I acknowledge that, that it is a uniform, and, and the essence of that word is one look. And, uh, and that's fine, but we can do better than that. We can be smarter than that. And the key is not to let soldiers decide necessarily what they're gonna wear. If we can educate our soldiers so that I don't have to tell them what, the, what to wear, that they can do it themselves, then that frees me up to worry about other things. Clearly, as a non-commissioned officer, that's always one of my jobs to look at the soldier, make sure they're wearing the right thing at the right time. But if I teach them what to wear, then I can spot check instead of just always mandating. Um, but the leaders need to understand the differences in our soldiers, the differences in this equipment, and to utilize it in the manner that it was intended. And, and, and so we acknowledge that there's different physi physiological aspects to soldiers, uh, both male and female, gender, you know, ethnicity. And for me to just blanket across the board, look at all those soldiers and say that they're exactly the same and they should wear exactly the same thing all the time is, that's kind of, it's archaic. I, I really like this mix and match capability, the, the ability to, to look at my soldiers and say, you know, based on your body type and your conditioning, you don't need as, as much as another person and allow them the opportunity to, to layer that's appropriate for their physiology, the climate, the mission, and that uh, an experienced leader will, will use the correct components at the correct time for the correct mission and, and it makes us more effective. And, and again, I see, I see this extreme cold weather system as some of the best equipment available to my soldiers in, in my 20 plus years in the Army. I, I certainly wish I would have had this stuff when I was a youngster out there um, doing a lot of, a lot of things.